Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 31 for our PCNSA series. So today we are going to understand what is URL and what is URL filtering. How exactly it works in Palo Alto Firewall, we are going to understand that. What are the action that we can take? Let's say if I want to block, what is the other actions that we are having for URL filtering? And how SSL decryption helps in URL filtering, we are going to understand. This is very interesting topic, guys. I'll recommend you to please watch this video till the end because it is basically helpful for your real time understanding as well as interview. And whenever you are troubleshooting something, it basically helps you in every prospector. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, let's understand what is URL and what is URL filtering. With the help of this image, we'll try to understand more. Now the full form of URL is Uniform Resource Locator. So if you try to see this particular link, okay, this is called as URL. Okay. So let's say if I want to go to example.com, I'll be writing on my browser address bar www.example.com. So this is called as you also if I want to get the path of example.com, I want to access the website. This is the URL that I'm going to visit or try to access from my browser. Now you don't need to understand this, this, this right now. Okay. This is the further path that we want to find something else inside the website. Okay. Now to filter it because there are lot of websites. If I try to explain you, we have billions of websites on this planet. Okay. So there are good URLs. There are bad URLs like the websites, which is very much legitimate, which is needed to access. And there are website which is not needed or it is illegitimate because uh, that website might be hosted by some hacker or something to trap someone, right? To filter like what to allow, what to not to allow, we'll be using the feature of Palo Alto Firewall to filter the URLs, right? We are going to see how. Let's try to understand further, okay? So friends, let's understand what is URL filtering works with the help of this particular images. We'll try to understand more about it. Okay. So how many websites are there? 1.1 billion websites are there on internet, right? So now to manage all this and how the filtering works, we'll try to understand basically what happens is Palo Alto has their own database which is PANDB. So PANDB is a database where it has all the list of URLs. Now all the list of URL in sense, it will be in the categorized way. So how it will be, let's say for an example, it has lot of categories, total 72 categories. If I give an example of categories like let's say we have a shopping category we have business category we have terrorism category we have uh, uh, information technology category so there are so many categories are there in that category we have so many urls which will be maintained by pan db okay so let's take an example of a website so let's say for an example you have registered a website so www.abc.com for an example okay so you went to hosting uh, the the uh, uh, basically a domain registrar okay you registered this particular domain if it is free okay and after that you'll take a hosting 
from some other uh, platform and you basically create your web, uh, uh, one website in that particular space and you will tag this uh, website or the domain name with this particular server okay now you put some content like blogging or something now after that there are a lot of visitors which comes to your website and your visitor are getting started or getting increased day by day and from your company let's say somebody is accessing it now as this is a new website at the, at the start of it it will not be categorized but if the demand is high or maybe you can do it by yourself i'll show you how to do it but let's say demand is high and uh, uh, nobody is uh, and somebody is trying to access abc.com now what happens is either you can go manual to palo alto networks okay and you can ask or you can request that can you categorize this website so what exactly happens is the palo alto will go to this website and try to analyze the article or try to analyze the website and it will tag into a category let's say it's a blogging so it will be tagging under blocking category okay now let's say if the visitors are high or something this is a manual way to do it but sometimes what happens is if the websites are basically more uh, have more visitors and it is basically getting popular the palo alto will will go automatically by themselves and try to analyze and put it as a category so it can happen in a both ways it can be done by manual effort or it can be done by automatically okay and it creates this particular database of it as this database is maintained by palo alto and there is update let's say a new website is getting registered or new tagging ha happening so there will be a, an update in the pandb and it is maintained by palo alto so you need to have a license then only your url filtering will work okay so this is purely maintain and give update to the uh, palo alto firewall and it is basically maintained by palo alto networks okay now the other part is or other ways that as a network administrator or network security engineer or a palo alto administrator you can create your own list of website which needs to be allowed which needs to be blocked if you create by yourself as you are creating by yourself and categorizing this particular website uh, it has like 1.1 billion website is too difficult but still if you can do it by yourself by putting some categories and all that will be no license required because you are doing by yourself okay so url filtering works is basically it maintains all the information of the urls through the categories and whatever the categories that you are allowing in your organization it will allow or it will work okay now let's say for an example in your organization if terrorism is there so by default as terrorism should not be allowed for the employees so you are not going to allow that as simple as that okay so simple you will be allowing uh some of the categories or some of the categories you should be denying it okay but let's say in this category if you have some links to be allowed which is okay for you okay or maybe you think that there is a business url which is basically categorized as a terrorist you can basically raise a question or raise a request to palo alto if the categories is has been uh, properly uh, or not properly done in that palo alto will go and change the category of the url it can do that if i tell you in the summary so url filtering will be maintained by pan db okay and also you can create by yourself as a admin defined okay 
and the category filtering or the url filtering will be happening based on categories okay if you want to block specific urls you can just go ahead and create your own list and block that one okay so friends now now we'll understand what are the action that we can take in url filtering okay now there are different ways or different actions that we can take for url filtering we'll try to understand with this particular image now the first thing we can block we can allow this is a simplest way we either we can deny the traffic or we can allow the traffic or allow the url that's all the other is it has alert so when you try to access the website it will be allowed but alert will be going to the admins that this user has tried to access this particular website like let's say for an example if you have some put it some uh, alert for hacking category so if the user is going to a hacking category websites the admin will get alert about it okay the other one is the continue okay now it will give you a proper web page blocked information something like this okay that it is not allowed as per uh, the company policy but still if you want to access you just click on continue now once you click on the continue the website will be allowed for you and you will be able to access it but here is a thing as it is basically giving you a warning if you still want to access it you can access it but a log will get generated saying that the user was clicked on continue and he tried to access the website okay so you need to understand ki it's not allowed but still if you are accessing you should have some justification of it right for some of the categories it can be configured like that okay like shopping like social media or something like that okay now the last is the override so in the override you have to put some passwords and the password will be common for everyone it's not that you have to put ad based password no you the the password will be common for ev all the users across the company okay now if you put the password you will be able to access but your action will be recorded means log will get generated still now when you try to access the first thing you have to put the password and password should be given by network administrator or the palo alto administrator who has configured it if you are putting the password it will be allowed okay you will be able to access the website but still the log will get generated and if somebody is coming to you and you are asking to you you have to have a justification okay now here override can be given to your seniors let's say you are working under senior okay and there are some employees so let's say you the employees can access like the uh, the members which is uh, below the seniors they cannot access the website but still if you want to give specifically to seniors some of the url access you can give it to them because they know the password and they can enter the password and they can access the password uh, they can access the website so these are the way we can use either to block the traffic either to allow the traffic and these are the actions that we are having in url filtering we are going to see in the lab guys so don't worry about that okay so friends let's understand what is ssl decryption which helps in url filtering so as we have already understood about ssl decryption if you have not watched my previous video i'll highly recommend you to watch i will for convenience i'll put that video in the i button okay so in ssl decryption what happens is let's say this is your pc and you are trying to go or connecting to a server or external server like yahoo.com okay or a website which are known for you www.xyz.com just think of so xyz.com 
now when so when you are connecting you will be creating a ssl tunnel with them and after that the traffic will be encrypted now as the first traffic will be a tcp handshake and after that it will be an ssl handshake and after that the actual traffic will be going in so when the actual traffic goes the polo alto no don't have any idea which website that you are going in so if you are not doing ssl decryption he will never get to know what is happening or which website you are going so for that reason we have to have a ssl decryption when you are doing ssl decryption he can see that you are going to xyz.com which needs to be blocked or which needs to be allowed so he can understand which website you are going in so without ssl decryption you cannot achieve url filtering so that is important for you guys to understand this because most of the urls right nowadays are https which needs an ssl negotiation okay so in my upcoming session i am going to discuss how an ssl decryption works with url filtering i'll show you the lab as well okay this is what i wanted to cover in this video thank you so much for watching till the end and i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me thank you guys i'll see you in the next